The Regional Arts Commission state it best. Public art goes beyond expected ideal of art. That was our intention when we began to discuss and formulate the idea of creating a statue in honor of Frankie Freeman to be housed publicly in St. Louis and thank God it would be housed in Kena Plaza. We love and respect the approach and diligent work that artist Brian Owens has given to this project. It has been extremely rewarding for us to witness and in some cases participate directly in the creative process. The best way to sum up Brian Owens is to say he is a professional sculptor. From engineer to artist, Brian Owens has made an improbable turn into the world of art and the continent of his soul which made him the perfect person to complete this piece on Frankie Freeman. Frankie Freeman began her work in civil rights when she became legal counsel for the NAACP legal team that filed a suit against the St. Louis Board of Education in 1949. In 1954, Frankie was the lead attorney for the landmark NAACP case Davis versus the St. Louis Housing Authority, which ended legal racial discrimination in public housing in the city of St. Louis. In March of 1964, she was nominated by President Lyndon Johnson to be a member of the United States Commission on Civil Rights, a federal fact-finding body that investigates complaints alleging discrimination. In March of 1964, she was nominated by President Lyndon Johnson to be a member of the United States Commission on Civil Rights, a fact-finding body that investigates complaints alleging discrimination. In September of 1964, she is approved by the Senate and officially appointed as the first woman on the Civil Rights Commission. Subsequently, she was reappointed by Presidents Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, and Jimmy Carter. She held that position for 16 years. She was later appointed by President Barack Obama to the Presidential Scholars Commission. In 1982, Frankie was instrumental in creating the Citizens Commission on Civil Rights a bipartisan commission monitoring civil rights policies and practices of the federal government and accelerating progress among race relations and other civil rights issues. Frank has been a figure in action for over 68 years and this piece of work we dedicate to the city in her honor will become a focal point and reminder for those who follow and especially inspiring for African American young women to be successful and proud no matter what endeavor they choose for their lives. Lastly, we want to highlight the significance of her daughter, Shelby, having direct hand in forming, molding, and creating this figure to honor her mother and her legacy. Congratulations, Frankie. Congratulations, Shelby.